Hey guys, welcome back to STL TV Live. I'm Christia Parker, and in the studio with me is Corey Black, poet, spoken word artist. Yeah. Thanks for being here today. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. <laughs> Good. Now, talk talk about spoken word in St. Louis. Is it popular? Like, what's um, going on with it? It's a uh, it's underground. I would mm -hmm. say it's not really a popular thing. At one point, it was kind of a weekly kind of thing where everybody would come out, and then the crowds got really big. But then at one point, it got oversaturated. I think so. I kind of want to rekindle that flame yeah. and just kind of keep it going because, like, legacy books has have been going on for about twelve years now. So that's something that's like a staple in like the poet the poetry community. But um, I just want to usher in just like a new feel, new energy cool. to the scene. Now um, you said legacy. Mm -hmm. um, what what is that for people that don't? Um, do legacy know? books. It's um, on Del Mar. Mm -hmm. I think it's um, I want to say fifty eight ninety two Del Mar. Mm -hmm. It's been there. Uh, for, I think they started in 2000 with MK Stallings back at the uh, Urban Hang Suite. Mm -hmm. Then they moved down to the Legacy Bookstore, and it's just been live poetry every week, Friday nights. So. So do you perform every week then? No, I, I haven't been there in, in a while. Uh -huh. Like this, actually, I have a feature coming up on the 24th. It's like my first time actually featuring there. So it's kind of like a big thing. Like they always have like nation, nationwide artists come in and do features or whatever. So. I'm honored to be be a part of that legacy as well. That's so. great. Now, when did you start writing poetry? Um, I started writing poetry probably when I was a kid, maybe maybe eight or nine, because mm -hmm. I always drew, and I just drew and wrote all the time. And then hip-hop always was a factor with me growing up. So it's kind of, oh, I, I want to be a rapper one day. Mm -hmm. But then I was like, no, nah, it's a little deeper than rap. Wow. So I just stuck to doing the poetry. So what kind of things do you write about? Uh, mostly uh, religion social uh, social commentary, politics, and love. Like, the, th the three things you're not supposed to talk about. Right, I was <laughs> to gonna make... say, do you get, like, <laughs> if you talk about something a little edgy, um, how do the people respond uh, to your poetry? I don't know, I think I've kind of had this stigma about myself now where people, like, expect me to be outlandish, and, uh -huh. like, they expect me to say the things that aren't supposed to be said. So I just, I try to break the mold, and I try to push the barrier of everybody's imagination and, and conversation, so. Wow. Now, is that, a, is that a way of life for you, or is that, some, is that one of your outlets through poetry? Um, that's just my personality. Like, that's mm -hmm. always how I've been. I've always been kind of outgoing and class clown or whatever, mm -hmm. so whatever get people attention and make them listen and then hopefully drop a seed in their head somewhere. Right. Now you say you want to usher in something new. You got some new stuff coming up. Yeah. Um, talk to us about some of your events you got um, coming up. Well, aside from the Legacy event, that's on the 24th, I do the uh, Poetic Justice every last Sunday mm -hmm. of the month and I have that at the Blank Space on 2847 Cherokee. Mm -hmm. And that's just me inviting all of my poetry fans in St. Louis and we just have like a big spoken word kind of, it, it's not even a slam, it's just a big spoken word extravaganza. And at the same time, we have like a live music, like a live jam session with Michael Franco. So it's just something like completely bizarre, but yet it makes sense and it's just something wow. new for the scene. So it's like poetry and music combined and things right, like that. Right. You were talking to me earlier about something that you're working on. Yeah. Um, talk to us about that. My, uh, my latest project is called State of the Art and it's for free download at coreyblack.com or coreyblack.bandcamp.com and it's mm -hmm. just a fusion of spoken word and just great production. So. Great. Now, what kind of poet would you consider? Do you do slam poetry, or uh, you more suave with it, or what, what's your style? Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a slam poet at all. Mm -hmm. Like I don't think people can judge what I write, so I, it's not for me. It's for everybody else who does it, but I'm just more of a. I think I'm just like a hip hop poet. Like it's a lot of hip hop influence to the stuff that I write. So I just take that feel and take that energy of hip hop, and I just like mesh it with, like the the poetry greats like Amiri Baraka and Gil Scott Heron and like mm -hmm. the last poets and just make it feel like our generation. Wow. So. You're giving me like the brown sugar type <laughs> <laughs> feel no, going on right now. It's not, it's not <laughs> that, it's just, that's it's just more flavor to my poetry. Right. And I, I just it just comes from having a hip hop attitude. Cool, now you got some great events uh, coming up. We're gonna make sure we put those on the screen every last Sunday. Yeah. 
We want to make it out there. Definitely. You guys can find out more information about you on CoreyBlack.com. Mm -hmm. You can um, check out his your your um, what you have out right now. The project. The project State that you have right now. State of the art. You guys yeah. don't want to miss that. Check out the information on the screen for more information on Corey Black. Thank you so much for being here tonight. You guys My can't pleasure. miss the event on Sunday. Do not want to miss it on Sunday. Not want to miss it. Thank you so much. You guys don't go anywhere. We've got a lot more coming up after this quick break. Remember, we're going to talk to Vanita Thompson about Access Thursdays. There's so much going on in St. Louis. We got little time to tell you about it, but there's so much. Remember to keep up with STL TV and all of the great events going on around St. Louis. If you got to friend us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can always catch us streaming live at stltv.net. We'll be right back after this.